Thank you for joining me for the Chamber Chat on your TV. I'm Jill Raycroft, the CEO of the Belleville Chamber of Commerce, and it's my pleasure to be a part of this community programming experience. The Belleville Chamber of Commerce has been here for 150 some years. We started in 1864. Sir Mackenzie Bowl was actually one of the first board of directors when they decided to implement or establish a board of trade here in the Belleville area. We were in fact one of the oldest ones in Canada and that might make it sound a little bit stodgy and that's part of what I'm hoping that we can change the perception of and by introducing you to a little bit of what we do here at the Chamber. So for our members who are represented by businesses in the community, almost 450 of them in fact, they come to us because we say and we hope we can help their business prosper. We do that in a number of different ways and the sign behind me kind of says it all. We connect, we represent and we share. So each week I provide our members with a newsletter that tells them about things that are happening in the community that connect them to each other, how we are representing them at all levels of government, that being municipal, provincial and federal, and sharing their stories as well and the work that they do for their customers, for their community, and we know that so many of our businesses are also supporting so many of our charities. We also have a number of charitable organizations that participate as members, and we know that it's partly because they love that connection. So over the next few weeks, I hope to introduce you to uh, what it is we do and how we connect each other to the community, how we connect our members to each other. We'll talk a little bit about representing in the advocacy work that we do at all levels of government. I'll introduce you to board members, I'll introduce you to our president, and I'll introduce you to some of the advocacy issues that we're tackling. Certainly the pandemic has made things pretty intense right now, the past few months, actually almost a year. But then we also have some good news stories and some of the good things that we can do to support business and how they can help our community prosper. Finally, and this will be the best part of each episode, I will share a story or an interview with one of our members and we'll get an inside look at who they are, the business that they have, and how they are part of our community as a business owner but also as a person because that's the best part of understanding who our chamber members are. So on that note, I will welcome you to join us for our next official segment after the break. Task Force Engineering is, is coming up on its 27th anniversary this year and, and I think we've, uh, we've been uh, members of the Chamber of Commerce for all of, uh, most of, if not all of that uh, 27 years and uh, so you know we saw the benefits of, of, of membership uh, as, as, a, as a member, but uh, the opportunity came up to, uh, to join the board. I was asked to, uh, to join uh, uh, probably about eight years ago, as you mentioned, uh, and uh, one, of the, one of the key interests that I had was, was being on the Government Affairs Committee, and that's, I've been on that committee uh, since I joined the board, right through till, till now, and uh, you know, it's one of the major things that the Chamber of Commerce is uh, has been very effective on and, and, and one of the things that, uh, that I uh, really appreciate as a, as a member. Um, and, you know, so I'm working through the board uh, levels, there's, uh, we've, we've got uh, a broad range of, uh, of skill sets uh, and, and diverse uh, group of uh, people that are in different uh, sectors of, of business. So welcome back to the Chamber Chat on your TV. I'm joined now by Paul Dinkel as we start the sharing segment of our show. And this is a story I'm excited to share because we had the opportunity to learn a lot more about Paul when we uh, provided or we, we recognized his vision for the downtown and Belleville as our Cornerstone Award recipient in 2020 for the Visionary Award. And that's given to somebody who has demonstrated vision that has taken 
what Belleville is to our far-reaching spaces and all sorts of places and uh, you, you help put Belleville on the map. But I think one of the best parts of your story was what brought you to Belleville in the first place. Hi, uh, Jill. Uh, thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity. It's, uh, and thank you for the award uh, in its days. Uh, already one year has gone by. Who knew that we're going to have such an exciting year in the meantime? And um, anyway, what brought me to Belleville? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, what brought me to Canada? I guess that's where it starts, right? Uh, this is 1966 when I came to Canada. Yes, one of the things you had mentioned too when we talked about it in the beginning was the town that you came from, an 850 year old town that, you know, the historic district and the history and the charm, and that was part of what captured your attention in downtown as well. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I grew up on the Rhine near Basel. Uh, Basel is the uh, main city of the neighborhood. The Rhine is the big river. So um, I couldn't understand why, you know, why isn't the river used more or why isn't downtown heritage? To me, heritage and in Europe, heritage, heritage is huge because heritage is really tourism, right? That's how I grew up. I mean, no matter if it's a little town up in, in the mountains or if it's a big city, inner city uh, that grew from a little village to a, a larger city, it was always heritage. It was always um, maintaining those that ambiance in the, in the city. And thanks to all our viewers for joining us on the Chamber Chat on your TV. We'll see you next time. <laughs>